So, uh, at the end of last episode, we went back to Savage Swarms and, um, got the Loom Medal, but, uh, we, uh, we were four away from getting the Loom Medal, <laughs> and, uh, just wanting to show just how much I missed. Uh, yeah, um, I beat my score by, like, 36, 35 blooms, yeah, right, 35, which, um, yeah, just, just gonna leave it at that and we'll move on, but, um, yes, uh, High voltage, um, you may be wondering why I was interested in this level specifically, and, um, let's just say that you can climb this part, like that wall, but in a way you're not really supposed to, and, um, it might also lead to, um, some things, just leave it at that, so, uh, <laughs> what I'm going to be doing to show that off is, um, once we get to a point in this level, um, I will show that, but then, um, as that thing I'm wanting to show off might kill me, or kill us, or like, very well or very well, yeah, very well might just end up killing us, uh, I'm thinking I might just cut back to when I'm at this point again, um, okay, um, it's gonna go ahead and collect these first, before, uh, these first before we, oh, before I show off the thing, um, can I even get that? Nit. <laughs> we don't need it. It's not like I'm gonna be short of the loom metal by exactly one. Am I? Um, yeah, um. So. Is that pillar over there? You. Well, the, normally, um, the screen lock would be below where we're standing right now. Um, in fact, uh, it's a little bit of a forewarning if you're wanting to do this yourself. Um, don't fall down here. In, uh, the middle part of the two clarinets as, um... Oh, if you are wanting to fall down, just hope you recover before you go under the screen lock, because, uh, <laughs> let's just say that once the or once you go back under the screen lock, there's, there's no getting out. The only way to get out is to just, you know... Um, restart the level. I mean, I guess it is nice because this is the first green of the level, and, uh, yeah, uh, this drum totem. Just totally out of bounds, and the, the nice thing is, they made this drum work. A drum you're normally not supposed to be able to get to. And, um... Just turning my attention to the background. As, uh, you can tell... Look, I've alluded to it, but... This, you can plainly see. That the backgrounds are made up of numerous layers just built on top of each other. Because, like, there's part down there, just the white, is normally, normally not supposed to be down there, and, um, 
if we take a little glide down, um, you can see the parts of the level you're not really, like, the parts of the screen you're normally not supposed to be able to see. Uh, and, um, sure, I'll do that. From what I know of, at least, um, that, like, that was the only case I've been able to find of just being able to just get out of bounds completely. Um, there is something else I've found, but, um, I definitely need to experiment with that more, um, in, in order to uh, get a proper understanding of how that works. Um, but I might do that, I don't know, instead of uh, do, or practicing the final level. But um, yeah, uh, I will cut back to where we got out of bounds. So uh, see you then. Sure, I really wanted to start the ep oh, resume from there, but I guess res oh, we are resuming from here now. Um, <laughs> that disappeared surprisingly fast. Huh. <laughs> and, uh, wait, no. Don't, don't challenge me, game. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try and accept this game's challenge once more. So where's the, okay, there we go. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm thinking that part might just be a little bit too high to, um, jump to because, uh, I, I kind of, like, really want just to be able to climb this from the outside and, uh, again, uh, because of the whole wall jump thing, you can just, like, go down there. Um, only problem is it's not all that interesting, <laughs> especially with the last thing I showed you. <laughs> like the only thing interesting about it is like, oh, you can just see how far I can go before you just die, or before the game kills you. Which I, I guess is always fun. That might be the definition of worth it, maybe. Maybe. Um, really love to wall jump on that, please. <laughs> and thank you. Um, hmm. But yeah, getting around to finishing off a part of the topic <laughs> from last episode. Um, I started the oh, started doing the hard mode run of Bayonetta, and um. The prologue left some first impressions. I'll just leave it at, like, say that. Um, I like the idea of going back to earlier areas of the game and just fighting stronger enemies and not only that, just having um, weapons you're not really supposed to have at that time, a point in the game. I mean... Sure, you can go back and, um, replay the levels again, but, like, eh. It's not as interesting as, um, doing it with, oh, on another difficulty, um, setting, so... The first verse was fine, I enjoyed it, um... Not to mention there's some enemies that, uh... 
Oh boy, I was not expecting to show up. <laughs> but, uh... Verse 2? Um... Let's just say that I'm really not looking forward to recording the... <laughs> hard mode episode of Bayonetta. <laughs> Which, I mean, I guess is, like, really telling. Um... Because, uh, the f second verse of the prologue, if you didn't know, is, um... Just casually overshooting that. Um... So that bird is sitting on nothing. Why? That would've been good. Um... <laughs> yeah, the second verse in the prologue is the, um... Torture attack tutorial, and um, that verse, unlike any other verse, is only completed by doing three torture attacks. Um, not kill all the enemies, but do a specific thing. Um, so really want to try and see if I can get like down in between the pillars down there. <laughs> Just, uh, the, the, the fucking little goblin part of that brain that just wants to know, just, just wants to find out how things would react to just me just fucking with it, just w w wants to go down there. But the part of me that is kind of going, hey, uh, <laughs> don't think everyone would want to just see me just fuck around with it. <laughs> if I let that of the goblin, of that goblin, um, control these episodes, uh, <laughs> probably, like, these episodes would be, like, an hour long, and we would own, like, and they'll, yeah, and we would only do one episode, one level an episode. Maybe not in the case for the, um, the schedule levels, but, yes. The, the normal levels, we, uh, uh, just, like, be going up to, like, every wall, just going, Hey! I wanna climb that. Let me climb that, fucker. Uh, Shit. Right, I forgot that your hitbox is extended if you ground pound. Right. <laughs> Just, uh... Obvious shit. Yeah. <laughs> um... Can I...? If I had a heart, I would totally be able to skip this part here. But the... I don't! <laughs> So, when the cage is under a shield, does that protect it from the, uh, <laughs> underside, oh, underside ground pound? Does it? Because, uh, <laughs> that would make these a whole lot easier. But yeah, I'm getting back to the whole Bayonetta thing. Um, in hard mode, um, in verse 2 of the prologue, the enemies they have you practice torture attacks on. Forget the name, but I think it's Two Glories? And because the game wants you to do three, um, torture attacks, if... Actually, I might just save it later. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um... They always respawn. Um... If you don't know what... If you don't know what glories are... Let's just say that they are combo-heavy, um... Enemies? 
And, uh... You know, if, like, if it was just that, I would be fine with it. Because, like, at that point, um... You know, just, like, okay, cool, I just have to deal with, um... Two combo-heavy enemies in a like, short, like, smallish area, like, that's fine. Um, no, that's not it at all. That's not the last one. Uh, like, that's not it. Okay, that's not all. Um... The camera is, um... Less than stellar? Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I can kind of understand why it would be acting like that, but, like, at the same time, it's like... Uh... <laughs> Would very much prefer if the camera didn't do that exactly. Um, what the fuck? Excuse me. Um, because um, the camera zooms all over the place, and um, when. You're like, you know, trying to focus on where enemies are. I also really want to know what's back here. Death, cool. Uh, <laughs> game is telling me hold, hold option to sprint. Um, yeah, uh, shit. Uh, you would kind of think the camera would be like, hey, I'm gonna stay in place and like let you see these enemies so you can, like, you know, see where they are and keep track of them so you don't get hit. Uh, no. Um. The camera would just, like, how? Yeah, the camera would just, like, oh, uh, you're moving away to, uh, Give yourself some space from these combo he combo heavy enemies. Oh, uh, it it seems you what? <laughs> it seems you really must want to view this part of a plane, and so uh, just gotta focus on that part. Just just, just because it's like yeah, the enemies might be like back over there and. Uh... <laughs> That, that they're gonna kill you, <laughs> but like you wanted to sh see that of this part of the plane, so uh, fuck you. <laughs> just uh, just letting you know how bad that, like how bad that camera is in that setting, in that v the verse. I was beginning to feel motion sick. And, um, I hardly feel motion sick looking at the screen. I mean, there's situations where I do, but, like, what? <laughs> yeah, there's situations where I do, but, like, for the most part, it's, like, if I'm, st like, sitting at a desk, playing a game, looking at a TV, no, not really a thing that happens to me. Um, but... <laughs> Prologue verse 2! Hard mode, baby! Just, oh boy. Making me want to vomit. And, uh... This is going to be like an odd complaint. <laughs> Especially coming out of my mouth, but like... I kinda wish you had the, um, option to, uh, disable some moves. <laughs> um, because some moves you can, um, some, uh, to, in, yeah, in order to use some moves you have to expand magic and, uh, using, uh, to use a torture attack you have to have a full bar of magic and, um, yeah. 
<laughs> if you would, I don't know, say accidentally use one of those moves. Uh, keeping a full bell, or full bar of magic of ready, like, which not be a thing that's going to be. What? Okay. I guess I really need to focus, but I really want to fucking talk about hard mode was too. What? Um, not to mention every time you get hit, um, as well as taking away some health, um, you lose a fair bit of the magic meter. Which, I mean, makes sense considering that, you know, you would want to have a penalty for, like, not getting hit. Especially in Bayonetta. But, like, yes. Not to mention, um. The only way I even managed to get out of that was to, um. Just crack and use. The, um. Or use some items, which are. You get penalized. For. Is it really. Don't. Well, it, is it really not, like, is it really just let A just go? Is it? I know that would just sound like fucking <laughs> insane, but like, that end part there is just really don't press anything. Press the A, oh, yeah, press the A button, and then go. Is it? Oh boy, uh, but yeah, uh, <laughs> the prologue has kind of turned turned me off um doing hard mode hard mode just because like I kind of don't want to do that like to ex experience that again. So I really need to fucking find the pace of this level. Um, yeah, yeah, what? Feel like that's fine. Probably should jump. <laughs> Most likely. Um, although that being said, um, I want to say you can probably do this level without pressing A all that much, like without jumping all that much. I think I've gotten close to the end like two times now. Outstanding. Um, although I want to say that might only be the case of in Roman Legends since this level returns in that and I want to say it's made a little bit easier. I'm not sure about that part there. Um, since when I was playing Roman Legends, um, I found, like, I just spent a bit of time just replaying this level over and over again, just going, hey, uh, how many mandatory times do I have to press A in this level? Okay. I guess I could just fucking hover. That is always an option. M must resist the urge to climb, but I want to climb the wall. <laughs> uh. Wait, wait, wait. Huh. <laughs> I was gonna say that, um... If there wasn't, like, anything interesting and I'd just be climbing the wall for, like, a few minutes, I would just like, cut that part up, but... I suppose whatever I'm standing on right now is interesting enough. <laughs> I mean, it's no high voltage, but... Hmm. <laughs> 
but it will do. Uh, <laughs> yeah, kind of got a little bit sidetracked there, just like a tad. Um, but I will say that um, I'm, I'm I'm still interested in doing or playing through Bayonetta on hard mode because like. I want to, at the very least, experience that before I do a Let's Play on the game. Um, but, because I've been practicing this game in the meantime, um, like, this has kind of overtaken that, because, like, I've kind of had fun, like, just, ex just like, exploring shit in my own time. <laughs> but, uh, for once! Breaking out of the trend of having to go back to a level. <laughs> now to, uh... Get through the rest of the game without that ever happening again. And we will be fine. Because I think two episodes is enough for me. <laughs> but, um... Next episode, we, um... We do Snake Eyes. Wanting to stay positive for next episode, guys. Just, just putting that up there. But until then, that's when I'll see you.